Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am here playing Oxen Free. This game is really fun. It was on it was on sale for one dollar and I've always wanted to play it, so we're playing it today. I'm excited. I have been wanting to play this game. Military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, my, my mind drifted for a second. Okay. No, I know how to play so you again. Moved in? Uh, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> and met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah. They hit it off. Ah. Uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... Yeah. What? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. We'll be like a... roommate, really. No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, step-brother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. I actually wasn't even really well, realizing what the conversation cool, right? was, honestly. Cool guy, I'm here and cool not here at the same time. Get a cool new sibling living right in your house, sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes, eating your food. That's no, weird. That's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like, the concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy? Isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> oh, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So. How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. You have enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> and today, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. Wow. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their... Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. That's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. There, great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Okay. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school okay. has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got rattled from some track record or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. I was not expecting so much commentary at the beginning of the game. We 
must be getting close. And also, first we have to right? I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, I knew we were exploring, but I didn't know we were gonna go right into it. Oh, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay. The photo. Oh, we get to see the photo of the characters. We can see the characters in a better view. Cool. And Jonas. Boy and girl. This the graphics are really cool looking. Yeah. Um, Different than most smoke? games. I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I, I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just check it. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, Dad. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's be buddies. Um, just never mind. I've already made everyone uncomfortable, so... No, it's... You're not making anyone uncomfortable, but... I mean, let's all just go up. We're like at hour one here. You'll have what ample family party time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed redefinition. When the flag is flying, we are... running. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. So, I feel like I should talk to him by himself, but I also didn't want to leave him alone because I feel like maybe that will happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I played lots of games where it's like you leave someone alone, they die. I don't know if this is that type of game. I like it. I like kitchen stuff. More closed stores or trees. I don't know, but it's not where we're going. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive. Nobody lives here and the stores are all closed. Whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Okay. Weirdo caves. The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of uh, the other. okay, sure. It's just, uh, 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year it's under the command of was the one thing recovered, Platt. so they made it into, on like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. You know way too much about this stuff, Ren. Jesus. I'm excited to be here doing this. Finally. Okay? So soon. I study. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Oh, hey, this is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't, didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. Hmm, this snow. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone, and actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our, the beaten path officially ends here? The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that... Okay, wait. These are the people we're meeting up with at Discovery Cliffs. But we're at Main Street right now. There's campgrounds, relay point, bridge sand. 
I'm trying to listen to dialogue, but I'm trying to look at things too, so it's really hard to look at dialogue because they're constantly talking. And so whenever I look at the freaking stuff, it always cuts into a new conversation and then cuts back into it and it's really awkward. Get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, anyways, I hate when I miss comment dialogue. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. What am I doing? I oh, just, is there like a part? I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Sheesh. Thanks so much. Okay, so we're at an, we're, this place is basically abandoned. And I guess there's just the five of us only. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> uh, who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Uh. <laughs> what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, it was nothing, really. Yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret, I'd like to know now before we're officially housemates. I'll just talk to you later. Seriously. Okay. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. <laughs> hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but she's... is your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so... Family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Uh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Rhett into, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Uh, who, who does this bitch think who she is? Okay. I'm about to fight this girl. Who does she think she is? Whatever. We're going to the beach, so. Hmm. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny-dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hmm, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. The whole case later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. 
Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it, uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare, because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Red. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... I agree. I meant to say something I else, but I pressed the wrong button. No, just I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, Let's right. ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I do, Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be, like, less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah! I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's mm. your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Well, is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before it's what are you talking about? What is this even what does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. This okay, Clarissa. Mean, what? This you mother guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah, Wait, me too. Let's not stop like this. We should. Like Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could. And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. Oh my God, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese. Oh, if you guys in your scavenger I'm hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. I hate Super. it. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it. That's just fine by me. Cool. Sounds good to me, then. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very uh, clingy, Ren. <sighs> fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. 
Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Can I come with you guys? I don't want to be stuck with these bitches. Wait, 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 wait. Let me come. Alex, you want to check out the caves or? Yeah, let's do it. Bet. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad he asked. I, I don't know what I would have done here if I was stuck with Chloris, though. We'd probably fight. <laughs> come on. I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever never you're ready. John. Oh, what? They're so, doing. the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird is it going to be? Probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal, annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren. About Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot and cute, <laughs> and I don't know. I, she's cool. That's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am. Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie town. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain. Qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just uh, <laughs> eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here, and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's? You'll know. Trust me. So just pull out your radio. I'll pull out my radio. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, mm -hmm. then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Okay, I don't know if my... I hope my, I'm not on mute anymore. Because if I am, that'd be really unfortunate. Anyways, what was I doing? I already forgot. I'm doing this one now. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, and she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who... Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Creepy? Satanic. Not what I was gonna say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? Okay. Um, there's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous? No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant <laughs> rabbit filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Can I get up there? It kinda looks like a pool or something. Like a fresh water worm, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange dark wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in now. <laughs> Ren, shut the fortune <laughs> favors the bold. <laughs> Jonas, don't. Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I misjudged the magic. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Oxen Free. Very excited to see where the series goes. 
keep watching and we'll see what happens next time. Goodbye, everybody.